What is going on, good people? Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I know this video might be a little bit different for me, so I wanna say hi to all the new uh, faces coming to my channel. My name is Dean, and this is the PEV point of view. You normally see me flying around the city on my PEV, in my case, uh, my electric unicycle right over there. Um, but I'm going to be doing a little bit different video today. This is going to be an unboxing of some PEV writing gear accessories. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my new upgrade in this Cadet Chrome Industries Cadet Sling Bag. Talking about my old setup in this Bobble Bee. Um, and just do a quick unboxing. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's get started. So I found out about this bag on Facebook. I actually saw somebody posting in the unicycle forum if it was a good option and it seemed to get a lot of praise and I actually did have previously a different sling bag but uh, it would always fly around on my back and this bag promised to fix that issue because it has a stabilizing strap so as you can see I got that beautiful red um, they definitely want you to retain this card. I'm pretty sure this card has your warranty information on it. Um, but let's get it open. Jeez, okay. Wow. First impression, I really like this uh, sort of nylon material. It's uh, much dur more durable and thick than I was expecting. People made it seem like it was pretty thin in the comments, but uh, no, it's nice, strong stuff. So if you've never heard of Chrome Industries, really what they're known for is this guy. All their bags have a seat belt style buckle. Um, if you are an electric unicycle rider, you might have seen this bag on Sean, Hashang, Sean. I believe that's how you say his name. I think he's actually one of the most subscribed to YouTube, uh, UC YouTubers. Hopefully I'll get up there myself one day. But this is really the hallmark of the bag. It is this uh, seat belt buckle. Oh, wow, that's crispy. I gotta say that uh, tactile feedback is super loud. Fan of that already. But yeah, this is what I was describing before. So the stabilizing strap. It goes over your shoulder just like any other bag. I'll demonstrate here, yeah, might as well. I don't even know if I'm in view. What up? All right. Try and get down so you guys can see, but uh, wow, right off the back, don't even have to adjust it. It's pretty good. Um, you can see it hanging out. Let's see how this uh, stabilization strap works. Wow. So obviously I'm going to adjust it to my preference as far as, um, you know, distance and everything. But right off the back, it's super secure. I can tell it's not going to sling around on my back, even when I drop some stuff in. Let's hope you can see that. But Oh, yeah. All right. So let's go over some of the features. Of this bag it has two um, primary storage compartments one up front which they don't say is waterproof based on the zipper water resistant obviously but not waterproof um, looks like this will be a convenient place to just throw quickly some items um, the biggest negative review that i saw anywhere online about this bag was basically the fact that it has limited organization um, and that's kind of what you see here Apart from these two pin pockets over here, there's uh, really just an open space. And honestly, you know, I kind of prefer this. For an EUC rider, I'm not carrying many things. And the majority of the things that I'm carrying are right here. So this is my, uh, my EUC supercharger. You may have seen this in another video of mine, but I have uh, one of the smallest chargers on the market. And for being able to just throw it in your bag and go, I don't always want to take this big guy. So I'll make another review on this, but this is the Bobble Bee backpack. 
GTX 25L, 25 liter. It's okay, I like it. But uh, as you can see, I was searching for something different and I found it. So let's try and stock the bag with some of my common essentials um, and see just how it feels on my back. Oh, and this is the uh, Roger EV adapter. So you plug your EV charger into this and it converts it to three standard outlets that you can just plug anything into. So super convenient. Got to make sure you have this on the road. Um, so I actually thought about this. Maybe I can put this in the U-lock portion, but um, we'll see. This is my first time with the bag, so obviously trying different combinations. So yeah, this is the bag with my two main items that I'll be carrying. Um, my supercharger, or my EV adapter. It can definitely stuff plenty of things more. It also has these uh, compression straps that I have fully tight from the factory. So um, I'll be loosening those up and hopefully freeing up a little bit more space in the bag once this is open. Um, I have seen these get stuffed pretty good. Um, but yeah, as far as first impressions go, it's a good product. Um, not sure if I mentioned it before, but Chrome Industries has lifetime warranty on this bag. So, I mean, theoretically, this should be the last bag I need as far as a sling bag. Um, I do not have any sort of sponsorship with the company. I paid my own money. I paid around $90. Um, this, they do have colorways that are like $70 on sale, but I got this one because I like the red, super bright and high viz. Um, was about a hundred dollars shipped. All right. So interview, getting back to it. Um, big fan of the tactile feedback on the clicker. I really like the materials of the bag. I'm satisfied with the lifetime warranty, um, that they would, you know, take care and honor the repair and maintenance of this bag over its life. Um, I'm going to be experimenting more over the summer, whether or not I actually like the bag as far as riding with it on the daily. Um, this does not have the level of protection that that, that, that bubble bee bag does. That's actually a back protector as well. CE level two. Um, so I'll be experimenting, you know, switching between my riding gear based on the length of the trip and what I need to carry that day. Um, but as far as the Chrome Industries Cadet Sling, it does get um, the first impression pass. I'm looking forward to riding with this one, um, and maybe I'll give a more detailed review later on. All righty, guys, so I've just been playing around with this bag for about the last 30 minutes, getting everything exactly where I want it them to be, um, and I found a setup that works really well. So I got the Stabilizer strap, nice and tight. Nothing is loose on my back. I have my JBL Clip 4 right here in the Velcro uh, seat belt strap. Nice and, nice and tight, locked in. Got everything adjusted, and I gotta say, it fits really nice. Um, everything is super comfortable so far. Um, I'm really enjoying the bag. And this just about wraps up my first impressions on the Chrome Industries Cadet Sling Bag. Um, I hope you guys all really enjoyed my first impression video. Make sure to click subscribe and stay tuned to my channel. I do have a new wheel arriving in the mail tomorrow. I have the Extreme Bowl Commander Pro 50S um, coming through. So I'm going to be making a ton of videos. Going to be making gear reviews on all the gear on all the gear that I have, um, which is a lot. I am, you know, self-admitted gear fiend and uh, I'm gonna be buying more. So make sure you stay tuned and click subscribe. I appreciate you guys. 
listen to this one. Stay safe out there on the streets. This has been Dean from PEV Point of View. Catch you next time.